Hello YouTube, it's me again, Justin, August 21st, 2018, uh, just did that video on the uh, illegal immigrant that was arrested in the uh, murder of Molly Tibbetts in Iowa, and I'm sitting here and I'm uh, thinking and I'm trying, I'm reading all your comments, just let you all know once again. Now YouTube's only letting me heart the comments, so I want to reply bad. Um, and thank you all for the, the comments. I mean, it's a horrible, sick tragedy. But um, I'm going to talk about, you know, the far left wanting these open borders and uh, these jihadist, Muslim-loving idiots that uh, are so delusional and... Um, once again, uh, holding rallies against and protests against ICE for separating families at the border when Border Patrol actually does that. ICE goes out and catches uh, illegal immigrants that have uh, committed violent crimes, uh, felony crimes and, and such. But they're so stupid. Sorry to say, but, you know, they don't know the true facts. And when I made the comment, or in the title, will CNN report on this? That was more of a, yeah, right, they're not going to report on this because, like many of you all said, it doesn't meet their agenda. And it won't. It'll get swept under the rug. And like uh, some of the comments said, they'll say, oh, it's mental illness or, you know, what was she wearing? You know, make... But what's going to happen to this guy? Well, he's going to be put in protective custody. And fed three meals a day. He's going to be given a lawyer. And uh, so basically, people of Iowa that have a job, I, I urge you to work harder. Put in some extra hours because your taxpayer dollars are going to pay to house this piece of trash, garbage that does not deserve to live. He needs to be released in that small town and... Uh, her father should have first crack at him and uh, an eye for an eye, so to speak. But anyways, state of Florida, the average cost to house an inmate is $48,000 a year. At least that's what it was a couple years ago. $48,000 a year. I know families with three children, four children that survive on $28,000, $30,000 a year. It's the prison system so corrupt. It's all about money. Why on earth does it cost $48,000 to house an inmate? And now this illegal immigrant, he's not going to be deported. And if he is deported, he'll just come right back anyways. But he's going to get a fair trial. Like I said, he'll get his three meals a day. And uh, he'll be probably put in protective custody and he'll have he'll be treated better than most free Americans and legal immigrants and people that are struggling paycheck to paycheck. He doesn't have to work. Just kick back, relax, get fed, talk smack, think back to what he did to this poor innocent girl. No telling if it was his first and get his rocks off, so to speak, in his sick, satanic, evil, horrific way. But yeah, people of Iowa, and uh, you liberals in Iowa, if you see this, you know, good job. And I really like uh, the comment, um, all y'all's comments, but um, one of y'all brought up uh, Mayor de Bellagio, and you wrote out a whole bunch of... Uh, you know, mayors and senators and congressmen that are for open borders and uh, sanctuary cities. And you said her blood is on their hands, and you are absolutely correct. And um, like I said, the system is so screwed up. It's, it's horrible. And he's going to be treated and protected better than she was. She was a free American
college student going out for a jog in this piece of garbage, sick, satanic, evil, illegal immigrant decided he wanted to get his rocks off, do whatever he did to this poor girl, and then just chuck her body and cover it up with corn stock and now he's going to be protected, but she wasn't protected. What's this world coming to? It's time to get right with God. Fear no man, never fear death. Get right with God. Fight the good fight. Stay locked and loaded. It's not going to get any better. Anyways, prayers for her family once again. But I just want to explain that, you know, to these uh, far left delusional idiots. You know, and I'm losing subscribers, which I don't, I don't care because they're not the loyal subs slash friends, brothers and sisters of Christ that, you know, are true to this channel because of uh, our beliefs on this channel. And if you're offended, kick rocks. Go to another channel. So, uh, you know, you're going to burn in hell, uh, all you, even uh, Americans. And it's just evil out there. Pedophiles, rapists, murderers. You all face judgment day and you'll burn in hell for eternity. So anyways, like I said, you'll burn in hell right next to Muhammad. Good old pedophile woman beaten false prophet Muhammad. Sick world. All we can do is pray. We're living in prophetic days. Fear no man, never fear death, get right with God, fight the good fight, stay locked and loaded 100%. Just had to vent a little bit more. God bless. Later.